so bright. Today I want to talk about how we're currently getting water on the land and it's all made manageable by this 200 litre tank that fits in my ute. So glad I bought it. <laughs> I drive into town to fill up the tank next to the campground, which is what a lot of RVers do anyway, filling up their motorhomes. <laughs> and then the water goes into a small tank next to my caravan and a larger tank next to our shower. And then I use gravity to move the water from the ute tank to the other tanks. And everyone in the area is really lucky to have access to a fresh water spring for really good drinking water. And right now we don't have a washing machine set up <laughs> so I need to do a trip to the laundromat in town. It has been very hot lately, so I think I might just look after my fruit trees a little bit. I'm just waiting for Hayden to arrive. I'm pretty excited. It's been like a week he's been in Gisborne. He was supposed to just be half a week and come when the containers arrive but then the containers, the arrival time for the containers were pushed out. And, ugh. So he's coming with the bus and his car on a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What do you know? It's almost like that trailer's been designed for a car to go on and off. <laughs> so a really nice start to our Sunday. Going to a local market and picking some blueberries. I have never picked blueberries before. Good to know that you can easily grow them in the area. And then we moved the raised bed up here, close to the fruit trees instead. It's just kind of out of the way. I know that 
we won't need to move it for a while. <laughs> it had previously been in the long grass hidden and Hayden managed to drive over it. So at least up here it's safe. back to filling up the shower water tank again today. Hayden has a new system. And it might have finished. Yep, yeah, I think it's finished. And Hayden had previously collected a barrel full of stream water just to see using a submergible pump. Oh, that's, that's what's coming out. Yeah, at the top. No, well after it's set for a... Because it was orange. Yeah. And then... Start to go green. Oh. <laughs> Do we need to stop them? That's country living, right? Some sheep just start entering your property. Oh, that was fun. Um, what was Hayden saying at the end there? So it was all clear when, at the top, when the water had a chance to settle the sediment. So for now, he's just going to experiment with that lake water, river water, stream water, and see when, how he can get the cleanest water he can from that. But what is our future plan? Well, we'll hopefully soon have some type of roofing structure that we can collect rainwater from and have a nice little water tank from a company. And the funny thing is, there's a shortage. Uh, there's like a three month waiting list for water tanks right now for two reasons. COVID throughout the whole um, system I think. I think it's affected a lot of um, products really and also Auckland's been going through a drought this summer so apparently a lot of Aucklanders um, are buying water tanks uh, particularly for their gardens. Hmm. I just want, don't want these thistles um, spreading any more seeds on the land. And hopefully one day soon we'll be collecting this rainwater.